Hi, good morning, welcome to my channel, or good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are watching all over the world. This is your host, this is your guy, DLG Repping. Remember, at the end of this video, please like, comment, and subscribe passionately, hard, and left, right, and center. Smash that subscribe button for me, yeah? That's the main button. Sorry that this um, picture is not um, as light, as light as it should be. Let's, hang, let's get sorted out. Yeah, that'll do. So, today it's FA Cup semi-final day between Arsenal and Manchester United, which is the first of the two semi-finals. Tomorrow it's Manchester United v Chelsea. But um, I've got some other football-related issues to get through. And West Brom manager Slavon Bilic has stated that he has um, told his players, in other words, you guys can either be men or be nearly men. And I'm not going to read the title. Oh, I'm going to read the title exactly what he has said. West Brom must be real men or near men, he says. Basically, um, letting slip... Um, well, not a 1-0 lead, but um, slipping up at Huddersfield yesterday in a 2-1 defeat, which saw Leeds United um, promoted without kicking the ball. So again, congratulations to you Leeds United fans, your manager and your wonderful football club. Your Premier League has missed you and um, it will be a bigger league with you in it because you are historically one of the biggest clubs in English football. So let me read on. Boss Slavon Bilic has said his West Brom side must show whether they are real men or near men after Friday's defeat by Huddersfield put their championship promotion bid in jeopardy. With Leeds promoted by that loss, Albion will see Brentford move up into second if they beat Stoke on Saturday. All they need is a point, really, Brentford. They can't lose to Stoke. Home away than the local park where the dogs do their poo. <sighs> they ain't going to lose to Stoke City. No offence to you, you Stoke City fans. I don't fancy Brentford um, being beaten by you. And I don't fancy you guys to do the job. But, you know, all the best for the foreseeable future, Stoke City. But I see Brentford winning. Anyway, reading on, the Baggies must now win at home to Queen's Park Rangers on Wednesday and hope the Bees, a point behind them in third, slip up. <laughs> You're hoping on teams to slip up because you don't want to get relegated or you don't want to be, ch to be champions. The reality is you sort yourselves out, look yourselves in the mirror and ask yourself why you're in that predicament in the first place. That's um, the way I look at it. We have two options. Phil... Sorry or take our second chance. Well, the moment you feel sorry for yourself, it is all over, hands down. And by the way West Brom have been slipping up of lately, I've not watched many of their games, but um, I did watch um, one game where they won 5-1 and they were phenomenal. And that's the seven British team I'm talking about here. They were phenomenal. But... Um, this reality, it looks like West Brom could find themselves in the playoff spot. You know, Brentford need a win to to take second place. I'm sure they will be going for the win, but if it's a draw, they still go second. So the more you think of it, the win is what they would really want. So they're going to the last game of the season knowing they're going to win. And... Um, a point or a draw will take them second because it will leave them with a home game against Barnsley. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I thought. You must be thinking that when I'm um, saying that name, Barnsley. With all due respect to Barnsley, nothing against the team, nothing against the supporters, definitely, and nothing against the football club. But <clears throat> Barnsley are where they are because they deserve to be there where they are. If you're first or 24th in the championship division... You deserve to be there because you deserve to be. You deserve to be there within the reasons required, whether you've been good enough or not good enough, whether you've been exceptional 
or not exceptional, etc., etc., etc. So for me, West Brom, they only got themselves to blame if they don't get promoted. <laughs> so moving on to um, positive news if you're a Borussia Dortmund fan and not so positive news if you're a Burnham City fan. And that is um, Jude Bellingham has completed his 16.6 million move to Borussia Dortmund and becomes one of the most young, youngest, um, well, one of the most expensive teenagers in world football. And um, you can see why. I mean, whew, I don't know much about Jude Bellingham, but um, I've not seen much of him, but I've heard some great stuff about him, some real positive feedback on him. I mean, if you want to give me more positive feedback, then drop it in my comment section below. Um, do smash the thumbs up like button and remember the biggest one of all smash my subscribe button for me today would be nice tomorrow okay but today would be nice to have as many subs subscribers as possible so Jude Benningham is going to be a Borussia Dortmund player and um, where he's going to is to a club where they really look after and develop their youngsters. I mean, you just look at Jaden Sancho, um, Alf Ingerholland, Son, and s s some number of youngsters they've developed. And, um, well, Jude Bellingham, he would have to abide his time, be patient, but keep working hard in training. That's all we can do. And he has to remain disciplined. You know, he does not step out of line. If he does, he will be punished. So, for a 16-year-old, it's um, a massive step up from Birmingham City to Borussia Dortmund. And um, Birmingham City fans, or some fans, won't mind me saying it like this, but the truth is, he wants to. He's going to end up being a top, top class footballer. And um, it was only a matter of time until he made his move. Or Birmingham City fans, can you tell me if it's if it was um, the right? time to uh, move him on from St. Andrews or is it too early for him in his development to step up to Borussia Dortmund and end up in their squad as a 16 year old drop it in the comment section below and I would love to have a conversation with you um, West Brom fans um, do you think Slevin Village was um, harsh in what he was saying about your players being men or, or near men or was he right to publicly come out with it that way. Again, drop it in the comment section below. And um, Brentford fans, how confident are you of um, securing um, promotion? Can you be promoted automatically? Do you feel optimistic? Because the way I see it is West Brom, they look like they're going through a period where they are slipping up and... Um, allowing their opportunity of automatic um, promotion to the Premier League slip away. While Brentford fans, you've got the opportunity to bounce. Obviously, in an ideal situation, from a positive note, you want all six points just to make sure that you are in there with Leeds United, whether you're champions or first, barring Leeds United um, collapse with no points in the, in the next two games. So, um, once again, ladies, to the gentlemen, to the boys, excuse me, to the girls, I sincerely appreciate you um, tuning into my channel. I say thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to my context. I wish I was off to Wembley. Obviously, the circumstances is it's not going to happen. Although, I've heard from a friend of mine that... Um, <clears throat> by October, they want to allow spectators into sporting venues and concerts and etc. by October. So, if that's the case, that will be brilliant news. Other than that, um, I'll be back this afternoon with another um, video context. And um, bless, love and peace again. 
thank you for tuning in again thank you for watching and um hope you all have a wonderful morning and a wonderful day this is your guy your host himself dlg repping allow me to leave you guys for now goodbye and latest